Hello and welcome to Pirate News. I'm Brian Henderson. And I'm Stephanie Cuomo. Today, we'll give you the latest from across campus, tri-state area, and the globe. We'll also have your Seton Hall sports update and the five-day weather forecast for the South Orange area. Ernesto Murillo, a PhD candidate in higher education, leadership, management, and policy at Seton Hall, was appointed the new Chief of Police for the South Orange Police Department. Murillo, who held the rank of Lieutenant prior to his appointment as Chief, is an instructor at the Junior Police Academy, par participates in the Community Police Collaborative, and has championed the Village's Community Care and Justice Initiative. Murillo will serve as the first minority police chief in South Orange's history. On Friday, April 22nd, the Seton Hall Student Activity Board is hosting a conversation with Max Greenfield. This free event will be held in Bethany Hall at 7 p.m. and doors will open at 6 p.m. Max Greenfield is an Emmy and Golden Globe nominated actor and producer. He is best known for his role as Schmidt in the television show New Girl. This event will be moderated by the Student Activity Board, live event chairs Niall Polk and Kim Sanchez. Join the Seton Hall community for a night of laughter and learning about Max Greenfield's incredible career. Do you have a business startup idea that you are serious about pursuing and turning into a real business? Have you already launched a startup and are seeking assistance to propel your venture to the next level? If you answered yes to either question, Pirate Launchpad may be right for you. The Center of Innovation and Entrepreneurship invites all Seton Hall University students to apply to participate in the third annual Pirates Launchpad Summer Accelerator Program and earn up to $2,000 in investment seed funding for the venture. This opportunity is open to all Seton Hall students who are already working on a startup business model or have launched a startup and are willing to set business goals and work to meet them during the program. Students can apply as solopreneurs or in up to teams of four students. For more information, please contact Susan Sherrick at shareshu at shu.edu. This Tuesday, April 12th, de-stress from studying with adorable therapy puppies. This event is sponsored by the Great Minds Dare to Care program, which is a university-wide suicide prevention initiative, as well as sponsored by the Dean of Students Office. You could find this event at the second floor common area of the Walsh Library from 2 to 4 p.m. Join us for a fun afternoon of pampering puppies with love. Now we'll send it over to Michael Stam with the latest in Seton Hall sports. Michael? Thanks, Brian. Hi, Pirates fans. I'm Michael Stam here with your Seton Hall sports update. To recap the weekend, the men's baseball team was competitive in a three-game series with Xavier. Seton Hall won on Friday 6-2, while Xavier tied the series on Saturday with a 4-3 win. This led to a slugfest on Sunday where Seton Hall was able to win 10-7. After being up 6-2 in the second inning, Xavier made a strong comeback and was up 7-6 after the fifth. However, the Pirates ended the game with four innings of scoreless relief and were able to score four runs in the sixth to win their first Big E series of the year. Junior Jonathan Luters went 3-for-3 three three and scored three runs. Junior Mark McNelly drove in three runs on two hits out of the nine spot. And Junior Stas Pokrovsky and Senior Steve Grober had two RBIs apiece for the Pirates. Pirates play today. Tuesday, April 12th at Monmouth University at 3 p.m. Moving over to softball, Seton Hall was against DePaul for a weekend series. Seton Hall lost the first two games on Friday and Saturday with a score of 2-1 in 13 innings on Friday, while the Pirates lost 8-7 in a really close game on Saturday. Through four innings on Sunday, both teams were held scoreless through four with a great effort from Seton Hall pitcher Shelby Smith, picking up seven strikeouts along the way. However, DePaul opened the game up with a three-run home run and an RBI double in the fifth. The Pirates would respond with a run in the fifth as Marissa Pla came around to score on a Blue Demon miscue to make it a 4-1 ball game. But the Pirates couldn't score any more runs, making the final score 4-1 DePaul. The Seton Hall softball team will play again today against in-state rival Rutgers. That will wrap up your Seton Hall sports update. Once again, I'm Michael Stam. Now Mac DeBrian and Stephanie at the desk with your local news. The market for recreational cannabis sale is set to get underway here in New Jersey. The Cannabis Regulatory Commission on Monday approved seven medical marijuana dispensaries to begin selling adult recreational weed, possibly as soon as the end of the month. The approved dispensaries and their satellite shops will be the only facilities selling cannabis initially to both the medical and the recreational market in New Jersey until smaller cultivators given conditional approval by the panel, can get their operations moving. The New Jersey Cannabis Trade Association, which represents five of, five of the seven approved dispensaries, said, quote, not only will the adult use market be especially beneficial to growing the economy and developing jobs in New Jersey, but the 
the taxes from this now legal marketplace will go directly to supporting social equity goals and assisting those who were disproportionately affected by the war on drugs. Four students from the Stevens Institute of Technology, Santa Chopra, Anna Maria Lassetti, Fiona Matthews, and Abigail O'Neill, created a system addressing the opioid epidemic within their senior design project. Researching the factors of pres prescription misuse, the team will present their findings and recommendations at the upcoming Innovation Expo on April 29th. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the total number of opioid prescriptions in the U.S. surpassed 142 million in, in 2020, and overdose deaths from opioids spiked from 56,064 in 2020 to 75,673 in 2021. Opioids such as prescription pain relievers are the leading cause of drug overdose and death and the source of a national health crisis. Now we'll send it over to Angelina Palin with your five-day weather forecast. How are things looking, Angelina? Thanks, Stephanie. I'm Angelina Palin with your look at the weather conditions in the forecast for the South Orange area over the next five days. To kick off the week, make sure you grab those umbrellas for rainy conditions with a high of 73 and a low of 48. Tomorrow will bring cloudy skies with a high of 70 and a low of 49. Make sure you grab that umbrella back again for Thursday because we can see rain with a high of 82 and a low of 58. Conditions will clear up for Friday with partly cloudy skies, a high of 68, and a low of 51. And finally, Saturday will also bring partly cloudy skies with a high of 70 and a low of 51. That wraps it up for your five-day weather forecast. Once again, I'm Angelina Paoline, and now back to Stephanie and Brian at the desk with more news from across the country. Despite relaxed COVID restrictions throughout campus and the country, positive COVID tests are surging throughout the country. This is most clearly seen in the dramatically rising levels in New York and even amongst top government officials in Washington. This spike reminds us that the pandemic is not behind us and that we need to continue to monitor this evolving situation. Former Ohio State standout and Steelers quarterback Dwayne Haskins was killed on Saturday after he was hit by a dump truck near Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Haskins threw for over 50 touchdowns during the 2018 season at Ohio State before being drafted in the first round to Washington. After re-signing with the Steelers a month ago, Haskins was preparing to compete for the Steelers' starting quarterback position for this season. Haskins would have turned 25 on May 3rd. That's going to wrap up today's episode of Pirate News. I'm Stephanie Cuomo. And I'm Brian Henderson. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and have a great day.